In this video, we're going to look at how to prevent changes to all or part of your spreadsheets. Let's start with a simple example. Like here we've got um, a financial statement that's been designed in Excel. So you're, not, you're going to want to make sure that no one changes anything on, uh, on that spreadsheet. So if you just go up to the Review tab on the ribbon and click on Protect Sheet, make sure the box is checked next to Protect Worksheet and Contents of Locked Cells. In this case, um, since we want to be sure no one else changes it, we'd probably want to add a, a password to this. Uh, so you'd have to provide the password to turn off the protection. If it's a case where you're just trying to prevent, prevent accidental changes, then you can skip the password. You can also go through and uh, you know, add any options that you want to allow people to do. For example, you might want to let people use the auto filter. So you can turn that on, click OK, and now if anyone were to try to make a change to this, they would see this message telling them that it is uh, protected and read-only. Now if you want to turn the protection back off, you can just go back to the unprotect sheet. And as long as there's no password, it will unprotect it. If, if you'd set a password, then you'd have to enter the password before it would unprotect it. Now if you only want to protect part of a worksheet, Let's take a look here where we've got a mileage log set up. So here we've designed a form and we need people to be able to enter into it, but we also want to make sure they don't change the formulas. So in this case, you could select the cells that you want to uh, allow people to enter into. Right click, and choose Format Cells. On the Protection tab, you would clear the check mark next to Locked. Click OK and then just repeat that process for all the cells that you want people to be able to edit. Once you finish that, turn on protection for the worksheet. Same as before, you can give it a password if you want. Set whatever options you want from this list and click OK. Now, employees will be able to enter into the cells that you want them to be entered into, but if they were to try to choose um, other cells, for example, if they try to change the mileage rate, they would get that same message that the sheet is protected and read-only. Now, when this says protect sheet, it really means just that sheet. And if you want to protect all the pages or all the tabs in a workbook, you'll have to do each one individually. I know there's a button there that says protect workbook that you would think would do the same thing but for all the tabs in, in the workbook but it doesn't that just protects the structure of the workbook so people can't rearrange add or delete tabs so there you have it it's as simple as that to protect the worksheets that you've spent so much time making